Good day. Good day, everyone. I believe I'll just give uh, another minute or two for everyone to check in and uh, put their name in the attendance uh, sheet, which I've just pasted in the group chat, and we'll get things underway. Matthew, we're going to have some guests today from uh, from NIST. A wall or Gregor on? Once we've uh, established some scribes, would uh, they go first? Uh, would it be like a presentation or like a SIG or working group check-in? Uh, it's going to be a bit more of a deep dive um, presentation. OK. Uh, do we want to do that before the, um, the general check-ins or afterwards? No, no. no that, can, that can go uh, in the sort of normal course of business. OK. Okay, so everyone is filling in the attendance. I will double check this throughout the meeting to see what uh, check-ins we've got here. But uh, in that case, I'll just start with uh, call for scribes. Uh, would anyone care to take meeting minutes and uh, execute the role of a scribe today? Ideally, if we can get two, so much the better. And I think we do have two. It's um, yeah, Emily. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, then we'll just proceed with the check-ins as per usual. So let's see, I'm, I myself had one uh, issue that I believe Brandon uh, uh, opted in with, and then I do not see any updates from the attendees. We have just under a dozen so far on here. So I'll just jump into number 350 then, if that's so good. Uh, essentially, it's just adding a scribe role documentation to the main page and just formally establishing what that role is and making sure it's Part of our primary documentation, I guess, where people just visit SIG security on GitHub. So I'm just going to go ahead, put together a draft of that, get a pull request going by the weekend, and we'll take it from there. I don't believe there's any debate or any concerns on it, but uh, if anyone has any suggestions, uh, feel free to send them my way now, or we'll definitely see them on the, the pull request. Okay, 
all good. No updates from those on hand. As, does anyone have an update that they haven't already noted in the attendance or in the notes? Still weak and in quarantine. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all good for me. Uh, I, I have a quick update. Um, just on the, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but uh, you probably have been spammed by the stale bot on mocking. We, we recently introduced the stale bot, which basically if uh, we've configured it to, for issues that have not have had any activity for the past 60 days, we mock it as inactive. Uh, this is trying to just help um, triaging and figuring out um, priorities. I think the issue list has been um, getting longer and longer. So don't be alarmed. And if you have any feedback on that, also um, let me know. What's the default policy on the bot, Brandon? Is it uh, more along the lines of a nag bot where if something doesn't get attention every X days, it brings attention to it? Or does it eventually auto close, like, say, stale slash rotten life cycle things like a lot of trackers on GitHub? So I said it not to close any issues. Um, it's just gonna, for anything that's inactive for 60 days, it's gonna add a label. And then it's gonna be up to um, manual triage to kind of see whether this is an issue that should be closed or whether it should, um, we should revive it. Or whether it's already been, you know, there's already been a PR and then we can close it linking to the PR. Okay. So it's 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 not really there in terms of like um, automating the entire process, but it's there to facilitate um, the triage of issues and pull requests. Thank you, Brandon. Are there any additional updates? Um, not not at the moment. I'm working on a triage project so that we can make triaging kind of a more structured. Um, process and then get more people and kind of partition the work there. Um, but that's still work in progress. Uh, I do want to mention one thing real quick. This is Justin Kapos. Um, so for groups that want security assessments and for things in that process, I know with all everything crazy that's been going on, uh, a lot of things have sort of uh, not fallen on a normal timeline. So if you're a group um, that is part of an assessment and you're excited to go ahead and you're kind of like, hey, you know, you guys are taking a while, then let us know and we'll try to see what we can do. But of course, you know, we may have a problem because some of the people performing the assessment also are, you know, now full-time caregivers for children or other things like this. So, um, but, you know, I, I think in the absence of people speaking up, the sort of assumption has been that uh, you're consumed with other things, uh, so please let us know if and you know, or really when that's no longer true, and we'll uh, we'll start uh, moving again. Thank you, Justin. If there's no additional check-ins or points anyone wants to bring up, uh, Dan, who was who were the individuals that uh, had a presentation for today? Yeah, let, let me let me tee it up real quick. Um, so is Mark Underwood on? I believe Mark was unable to make the call today. Okay. Um, so Mark Underwood, uh, you know, has been uh, our liaison uh, to um, NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Um, don't know who NIST is, kind of shame on you. Uh, also, congrats for not working in government. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it, it's been uh, wonderful to get Mark's perspective on, um, you know, what's, what's happening in uh, the more institutional uh, space and, um, you know, have that perspective, uh, you know, here in uh, the cloud native ecosystem. Uh, yeah, Mark was gracious to uh, in, invite Wo Chang and uh, Gregor uh, von uh, Lazuski, um, you know, who are um, uh, members of the um, proposed NIST Big Data Analytics Initiative and CloudMesh, um, and 
Um, I believe they have uh, a, a bit of a, a presentation that you know we get to share, and uh, uh, I'm you know really happy to sort of uh, continue uh, expanding and developing the um, relationship and partnership mm-hmm. that we establish uh, you know, with them. Um, so, Will, uh, do, do you want to kick things off? Sure. Well, thanks, Dan, and thank you for having us. Uh, so I'm Wo Chen, I'm the, the chair for the uh, the NIST Big Data Working uh, Public Working Group. Uh, let me just uh, give maybe uh, 30 seconds of intro, and then uh, Gregor is our uh, the uh, 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 editor and also the uh, the the, uh, the, uh, the expert uh, on the uh, what, we, what we call the Big Data Reference Architecture Interface. And uh, as a Dan said, uh, we have a cloud mesh as a reference uh, software uh, to demonstrate or to uh, get the uh, specification uh, going and so on. But just, uh, just an overview. Uh, so what the uh, NIST Big Data Public Working Group, uh, we established it uh, about six years ago. And uh, right now we have maybe have seven, some hundred uh, members of the refactor. And uh, so basically uh, what we try to do is to try to uh, look at from the uh, agnostic uh, environment uh, perspective, uh, how can we create a uh, reference architecture that's agnostic from uh, technology infrastructure and vendor, uh, so that the data scientists can concentrate on the uh, on the uh, big data analytics side, uh, regardless of uh, the underlying uh, the infrastructure or technology uh, uh, behind them. Uh, so right now, uh, as a dance and I, we finished our uh, the architecture. And now we in the new uh, uh, milestone. We try to extend the uh, reference uh, architecture interface uh, to enabling the uh, 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 analytic as a services. But uh, related to this group, uh, on the day one when we started the uh, big data working group, uh, security privacy are very important. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, through the Gregor effort, uh, we try to uh, uh, through interfaces, uh, how can we enabling um, the uh, underlying uh, uh, computing uh, resources. At the same time, uh, we we also uh, with Mark and uh, you know another co-chair, uh, not from uh, Fujitsu, that I uh, look into the security privacy. And I think uh, through the uh, RESTful API that Greg could put together, and uh, maybe with your group help, uh, that we can maybe uh, kind of like uh, maybe uh, more focus on how can we uh, handle the uh, security privacy. To the uh, uh, you know uh, uh, RESTful API or the uh, Open API and so on. So with that, maybe I could get, turn the time to Gregor. And um, Gregor, do you have presentation uh, to, uh, to make or just a bit reporting? So how do no, you want to present it? Uh, yeah, I don't have a presentation at this time. I can okay. just uh, summarize where we currently are. Um, sure, please do. Uh, we, we, we have started thinking about how can we uh, generalize um, interfaces for big data reference architecture needs. And one of the things that came up was this when we had, uh, when we wanted to communicate this, we found out that REST interfaces uh, seem to be these days uh, one way of communicating interfaces between different groups. Although we are not uh, requiring that you are doing a REST interface, um, we we have used REST interfaces to communicate the general needs. This includes, um, for example, the compute interfaces that the Wo has pointed out. What would it take to um, to start, for example, a process or a function or a service, and we have uh, REST interfaces for that. Due to this, I have uh, implemented um, an um, architecture verification system that's called Cloud Mesh that uh, uses these REST interfaces to verify that our thoughts on this um, are correct. And as part of this, we have not really done much security, but we realize that REST services have some built in security, such as. Uh, basic hours and uh, all hours and those kind of things. But uh, I myself have not um, started to think about what would it actually take to generalize this 
to make this available not only on the service level, but also on, for example, the data level where we need to be um, thinking about, okay, this particular piece of data needs to be secured or authenticated against a particular group. Um, the pathways of sending the data from one to another need to be secured and, and those things. Mark is typically the, the, the point person for, for this. Unfortunately, he is not here. He would be probably be able to describe more on that, on that issue. So this is the, the very short summary of what, what I have done. Uh, and it's REST, R-E-S-T. Thank you, Gregor. To Gregor and Luo Chang, is there anything additional you want to add to that, or does that conclude the presentation? Well, I, th I think the, uh, the synergy between your group and uh, maybe our group uh, even though our group, we, uh, uh, we have one uh, uh, volume dedicated to uh, security privacy, and I think your group has a lot more uh, hands-on and uh, industry uh, focus. Um, I think it would be very nice uh, to, to uh, kind of like um, explore uh, to see uh, how, how our, uh, the interface uh, specification uh, can get into the um, a more wider, a broader uh, security privacy aspect, and, and also through the uh, Westworld API. And uh, I thought, I think maybe this is the kind of a, a common interest between uh, your group and our group, and how can we leverage, uh, you know, uh, each other's uh, uh, aspect, and uh, to maybe uh, make some uh, whole forward um, um, progress. A question maybe then then, then you and uh, Mark talk a lot more, right? Maybe uh, you you uh, you can share your side of the synergy. Since Mark, I think he's on the uh, conflict. Maybe uh, you could kind of say some right. why we why we're meeting today. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, you know, I, in. Um, in how we're structured, um, you know, liaison and outreach to, um, you know, various uh, affinity groups and, and partner groups uh, is largely, you know, the responsibility of, you know, individuals who are connected and uh, participating. And, and Mark's been, you know, that, that individual. Um, you know, one, one thing that I would love to sort of, uh, you know, dive a little bit deeper on is, um, you know, we are um, a federation of, uh, you know, open source collaborators, and you know, mm. that's the model that we are accustomed to. You show up, uh, you know, carry wood, uh, you know, chop wood, carry water, uh, and, um, and participate. Um, you know, wh what's the model if, uh, you know, folks here aren't familiar with, uh, you know, how the, the groups like, uh, um, uh, like uh, inside of MIST uh, operate and, and what are the expectations in terms of, uh, you know, participation and activity if someone wanted to uh, extend their, their participation to um, the big data uh, public working group? Okay, if there's no additional discussion on that, I'm just gonna check if there's any additional updates or if anyone's posted one. If not, I believe we can just see if there's any PRs that require discussion or chair approval. I see two under here, 291 and 268 that have outstanding change requests. I'll just go open those now. So 291, adding compliance perspective. Let's see, it's compliance in its own category, makes sense. Is there anything we need to discuss on this one or do we require specific approval from specific individuals for it to go through? So, um, Justin and I have been working on redoing the landscape 
Um, so I'm not sure whether uh, this PR is something that we are looking at right now. Um, I mean, so, so I, I'm guessing it's this, uh, Robert, were you looking at this again? It's Robert here. Um, so I think we'd be willing to take the all the PRs related to. Um, oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong PR. Sorry. Sorry, Brandon. Were you asking me a question? I'm kind of juggling. Yeah, you. yeah. I was, <laughs> I was, uh, I was, I was looking at the other PR. I clicked on the wrong one. Um, on the adding compliance perspective, so. Uh, I think that, so Justin Kapos and I have been working on creating a new landscape. Uh, so I think that what you have here is is good. And I think we want to consider when we are creating the new landscape. Um, so are you looking to merge this PR or would you be fine if we just have it on hold and then integrate all the the suggested changes into the new landscape that we're developing? I, I mean, I'm okay if it's on hold, if others want to chime in. If we want to give it a little bit more time, but. Uh... Okay, uh, I, I think the, so, so I'm not sure whether um, we've shared this yet, uh, but we've been working on a new format of the landscape. Um, so it wouldn't be categories anymore. Um, but so, uh, Justin, if do you know if there's any progress on that from uh, feedback from CNCF site? Um, that's been a little messy and slow. Um, it's uh, in in the kind of recent things that have happened. It also got kind of. Like I didn't follow up and pressure them as much as I probably should have. Is Amy on this call? Doesn't look like it to me, but maybe she's calling user one. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I think we, um, uh, yeah, that's, that's something that, that, uh, that we need to do is to follow up with them and, and move that along. Um, and maybe we can plan, I think having, a date at which we're supposed to go and do a presentation for this group might also be a good forcing function for everybody involved because we've been getting, um, like I think Brandon, I think the work you did was really nice and actually was more helpful than the work that we got out of, out of the rest of the CNCF, um, unfortunately. So maybe um, as a proof of concept, we could, we could showcase what we've done at a future meeting uh, so far, and then kind of go from there. Okay, yeah, I, I like that. Um, and I think if if the feedback from that seems to be kind of straightforward and good, and then we can just put the landscape into practice. If not, if it looks like there's um, a lot more work that needs to be done there, then maybe we can um, continue looking at merging the existing PRs for landscapes. How does that sound to you? Because I, I think there are just a couple of PRs with landscapes open. I, I don't want to, you know, keep saying that we have something coming that that's a, a bit, it takes a bit more time to, to get there. Yeah, I, I don't know what the agenda is like, but if, you know, we could do this at a future meeting, either something like two weeks from now, somewhere around that time, two, three weeks from now, I think that would act. I mean, heck even next week may work. So um, we're not far from having something we can show and then have people pick at. And then if the group likes this direction, then uh, there's going to be a lot of work to do and hopefully we'll recruit a bunch of other people to help. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I guess I'll try and see what the schedule is for the next two weeks and then I'll, I'll put us in for one of the slots. Uh, in the meantime, I guess for the landscape related um, 
PRs, maybe we can discuss that at that meeting once we've done the presentation. Okay. If there's no additional PRs that we need to bring up, we'll just move on to the open floor. Um, I'll actually open with one. It's a general PR ticket. I might just close. I don't know if it warrants much more discussion beyond uh, the column based format that we have in the notes right now. Is it uh, same as before? Does it provide any help or does it provide any difficulty for scribes? Okay, I'll treat that as no pros or cons to speak of. I'll leave it like so and if by any chance it makes it uh, less efficient or at all tedious to take the meeting minutes, I'll revert the document back for the following meetings to how it used to be. Does anyone have any other topics? I've been to? enjoying it. Great. It looks really organized. I love the, um, the addition of the bullet points up front to really drive home, um, you know, kind of the norms of uh, the steps that we go through at the beginning of the meetings uh, and, you know, establish better, um, better clarity, better repeatability of those processes. Thank you. Also helps me remember what order I got to do things in so I don't do them out of order like last time. <laughs> Are there any other topics anyone wants to bring while the floor is open? Okay. Well, is that the case? We're, that's a wrap for today. Have a great rest of the day, everyone, and hope everyone stays healthy. Stay safe out there. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Kathy. Yeah.